That should be pretty good. video off I do have to uh, make a confession so I've decided to invest in the Nikon Z8 and the 180 to 600mm lens um, so now I've got a native lens with a native camera so with the Z system so obviously I had the Z62 this is the first proper outing really um, for this camera so it's I'm excited more so just to try this out to be honest and I have the early use I have had so far a couple of hours after work it's night and day so we'll probably touch on it in a future video on that and maybe give it a bit of a review or just initial thoughts but just the auto focusing is just totally different having that bird detect is just insane I can't get my head around it, I still haven't and I'm sure today I'm going to be absolutely ecstatic with what I'm going to be able to get with all these new tools at my disposal basically so yeah can't wait to just do more videos hopefully get give you guys better content as well um, so yeah absolutely can't wait um, today I've got an absolute real treat for you and a treat for me because it's my favourite bird a bird I've never seen but we're going to try and see him today uh, it's a freezing morning, it's literally about 3 degrees, so it is, it's pretty cold, um, but you can see we're in a reed bed location, and we're at RSPB, Leighton Moss. Now I've been wanting to come here for years, just for these uh, subjects. Now, the bird in question is the bearded tit, now, or the bearded reedling, which is actually a more accurate name for it, but... Um, as it's not actually related to the to the it's not in the tit family basically so we're gonna have a little walk around today I'm gonna to head down to uh, I think I believe it's called the causeway uh, and then we're gonna have a little look see see what we can see see if we can see any be bearded tits coming to the grit trays that they put out at the reserve and yeah stick around and see what we see thanks for joining me Thank you. 
and listen in the background, you can hear bearded tits. Difficulties. <coughs> Trying to get a uh, the bird focused through all that reed is an absolute nightmare. You can hear some Chetty's warbler in the background as well. But yeah, so absolutely. I tell you what, I'm ecstatic with what we've managed to get this morning. We've had bearded tits on the trays. Absolutely so many of them. And I just it's surreal to see actually because I've never seen them. And they're such a striking bird, it's just strange to to see them so close and accepting them, um, happy to come to the to grit trays really. But uh, you can see there's a lot of photographers there, so um, you have got to get there early to get a good spot really. So, so yeah, I'd advise just getting here at least. You've got to get here at least half seven, eight o'clock to get a good spot. interesting place to visit when you come to Leighton Moss is this pond area that they've got. It's like a little boardwalk and I've seen a few willow tits this morning around this area. None within enough range for me to get any decent photos but just great to see a willow tit. It's probably been, god it's been years since I've seen a willow tit in I think it was in Dovedale and um, so yeah cracking, cracking little bird that you don't see very often. So I'd like to get some decent photos, but at the moment I've just kind of got record shots of it. So if I get anything good, I'll stick it on. But, um, but yeah, just nice to see. I'll, I'm going to hang around here a little bit, see if I can see any. There's a hell of a lot of goldfinches because there's an older tree behind me as well. The light's not a bad light today either. It's if I see if I can turn the camera around so you can see. It's kind of like a diffused, a diffused light bit of cloud, a bit of haze, but um, but yeah not too bad, the sun's kind of diffused and poking through and giving some decent light so when I was filming the bearded tits earlier to go back onto bearded tits, I um, the light was a little bit poor to begin with but it, it, it improved throughout the time that I was sitting there and um, luckily I had like a bar, like a bit of wood to sit my camera on because you are there are periods where they come they all come to the um, to the tables the grit trays in like a flock but then they all kind of leave as a flock but then there might be 20 minutes to half an hour when they until they come back so if you were to hold your camera the whole time it would be absolute your arm would be hanging off so so yeah it was a good little good little session this morning we had probably about three or four visits a couple of wrens chasing each other <laughs> Yeah, so had a, had quite a few visits really from from the bearded tits. So, so yeah, it's been an absolute cracking morning. I'll stick any decent photos that I've got, and there are going to be thousands because I, I can't believe how many there are here. To be honest, it it, it doesn't do it justice as well. Um, when you see it online and you do the YouTube videos, it's almost like until you're here, you can't see how much opportunity you've got. Um, so it's a it's a very uh, it's almost like when you go to Skoma and you want to take photos of puffins, you get there and you're kind of like, wow, oh, I can take this many photos. So it's the worry is filling up the memory card. So um, so yeah, I'll stick a few shots on anyway. And um, yeah, there's there's probably a hell of a lot of shots. So I'll pick out some of my, maybe the best ones that I think are the best ones. And then, yeah, hopefully you enjoy them. I've actually just had a lovely little moment where I just caught a bearded, uh, bearded reedling just in the side as I was walking down this um, kind of row of reeds and um, just seen some movement. It's, when it's still it's really easy to just see any movement so that's why coming when there's no wind is really uh, makes the game a bit easier because when there's no wind you can just see any 
any slight bit of movement and y your eyes can just lock onto it. Locking your autofocus is another question, um, but at least it gives you the opportunity to maybe see um, some readlings just in the free reads, not actually just coming to the grit trays where it's a bit of a, to be honest, it's a bit of a clamber to, for photographers to get <laughs> to get to the front and get some images, to be honest. So I was quite lucky as someone was leaving, I managed to um, get to the front as I was standing behind them. So, um, but yeah, lovely little moment of just a, a female and a male right next to each other. Um, so I got a little bit of the male preening really close up. It's a little bit kind of hazed because it's through the reed, so it's not exactly uh, <coughs> the clarity is not amazing, but it's it's still just a really intimate kind of little video. And the female did turn up as well. Got a few images. If there's any decent ones, I'll stick those on so you can see them. One thing I do love about this new setup that I've got with the Z8 and the uh, 180 600 is just how quick it is to acquire that focus on the eye and on the bird, on the head, whatever it can get it will focus but nine times out of ten it's straight on that head and it's got the lovely sized box I think I've got on wide large and then I've got a couple of custom buttons where if I press the AF on button It'll just do um, the whole area, basically, of the screen, and it'll find the subject. So if you've got a pretty big subject or a mammal or something like that, it's pretty good using that. But even for birds, it's fantastic on bird detection mode, which is totally new to me, and it's an absolute game changer. So I'm so far, I'm just blown away. I'll never get used to the focus, just going straight on the eye of the bird. I'm used to almost being a full manual, like with spot focusing on on the Z6 too because it just can't handle small birds and even like medium sized birds and it just doesn't do the eye tracking it's just it's chalk and cheese so I'm absolutely ecstatic with with what this, what this is going to let me do basically so yeah hopefully it, sh it comes across in the photos I'd like to think my photos are going to be absolutely a cut above what I've been able to produce before just because the failure rate is so much lower so yeah ecstatic at the moment so um, there'll be a video on the Z8 coming up I'm sure so stay tuned so before coming back down the causeway I um, just popped over actually to the um, uh, to a hide that's kind of like a woodland hide that's by like the visitor centre I'll stick some images of what that hide looks like um, so you can see just the activity around the hide there's so much bird activity so many goldfinches on the feeders and um, we actually were lucky enough to get bullfinches and even the willow tip turned up a couple of times but it's so quick it's just in and out like a flash it just takes one um, uh, sunflower heart and it's just gone to go and eat it and then it comes back and gets one and so you've got to find your branches where it lands on and just pick those shots off so didn't really get anything amazing but anything I have got of the willow tip I'll stick up and also um, we had a male and female bullfinch come in which to be honest I, I love I just love bullfinches so it's me nan's well it's me nan's one of my nan's favorite birds but it was my granddad's favorite bird uh, it was always his favorite bird so so yeah absolutely ecstatic to see to see one and actually get some decent photos I think so yeah I'll uh, just show all those images on the screen for you now what we managed to get at that location
the light is slowly starting to kind of fade. Now we've gone into the middle of the day in the afternoon. It's just become a lot more grey and just the images are going to suffer for it. So I think we're just going to near to the end of the day. I'll weave some more images through this section and uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. A lot of variety. We've had, um, I guess we've had willow tits, we've had uh, blue tits, gold finches, green finches, bullfinches, uh, bearded tits is obviously the star of the show, bearded reedling. Um, so yeah, absolute amazing amount of birds really. Um, great white egret as well, um, putting a nice display of hunting for us and yeah, so it's been a good, good day. The main reason for coming was obviously the bearded tits and I feel like I've I've got what I wanted and I've got those shots that you always see with the reeds uh, with them sitting between two reeds and the males and the females I've got a real good mixture of images so I am really happy so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the images so yeah I think we'll uh, close out but thanks for watching um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have please do like and subscribe it is free um, hit the bell notification as well so you get notified when videos come out and uh, please drop us a like thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one goodbye from Leighton Moss I've seen bearded tits so I thought I'd treat myself <laughs>